Apiculture. 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 All right. Apiculture. So now we have our herbalist table done, our tailoring bench done. It is time to finally move on to the main event, and that is apiculture. Okay. So what is apiculture? In Hydrocraft, we're just going to be beekeepers, basically. There's a few main things that you need with beekeeping, um, and that's going to be a bee smoker, a beekeeper hat, uh, work gloves. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we're going to need to make our beekeeper hat first. Okay, over in Craft Helper here we have make a beekeeper hat. Takes one straw hat, one leather, three pieces of netting, the tailoring workbench, and some thread. Um, as well as reading this apiculture textbook. Straw hat, we need four straw. Now, how do we get straw? To get straw, you can dry these kind of resources at the herbalist table. But you would just head over to the table and then dry your grass like this, see? And then in order to, to get grass, you literally just need to pick up grass from the ground. In my previous video, we went over how to collect leather. So let's move on to um, obtaining the netting. In order to make this netting, you have a, a bunch of different ways of going about creating thin rope. Personally, I prefer to use bark strips, so in order to make bark strips, you just use tree branches and a knife. So I'm going to find my knife or my tree branches, and I'm going to make some bark strips. <laughs> okay, once I have my bark strips, I can make my thin rope. And then I have all my netting. I'm going to go ahead and make my, or my thin rope. I'm going to make my netting. So now we have everything we need. Just gonna go stand over next to this. You can also right click on the actual table right here and you can see all the options of what you can make. But I am going to make a beekeeper hat. It falls on the ground, so make sure you pick it up. Okay, so next on the agenda is we're going to make a bee smoker. This smoker is crucial. It is the, uh, the second part of the duo of items that you need in order to interact with your beehives. Um, not just beehives, but you can also process honey, just wild beehives as well. Looks like we need two tin cans, bellows, welding torch and gas, and then some sort of mask, protective gear. Just gonna head over here. I have all of the ingredients over here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make one. The tin cans you can grab from basically any food items that you find in cans. Once you eat it, you can remove the label. It'll become a tin can, which is usable in Hydrocraft. Um, the welding tank, you're going to need to create one or find it. It's created by um, using one propane torch and a welding hose on a welding gas tank. Um, you could also replace them as well. And then this is the only tricky thing to get right here. So your clay pipe, you're gonna just make some clay pipe, uh, or you're just gonna make the clay pipe at the kiln with some clay. Not a big deal. The water flask is where you're probably gonna be hung up on first, um, just cause it's kind of hard to get possession of leather in the beginning. But once you do have the leather, once again, we did go over how to do that in my previous video. Um, we'll go ahead, we'll take the leather over to our tailoring bench. And then we'll go ahead and we'll make a uh, water skin flask here. And then once you have the water skin flask and the clay pipe, you just add them together. It'll make the uh, bellows. And then you just head back to wherever you have your items. Okay, yeah, so you're just gonna go ahead, right click on your welding torch and then make your bee smoker. Woo! Cool. Once we have the bee smoker, it is going to be empty. Um, you're just going to have to create some sort of fuel ahead, for it. Go Let's ahead. take a look at how we would do that. See, fill the bee smoker with fuel. Looks like you have a bunch of different kinds of options and you just need a, a heat source there too. So let's go ahead. Let's run back to our herbalist station. I'm now sure that we're back at the herbalist table, we can fill our smoker. You'll just need a sheet of paper, any of these uh, raw resources, and then a, a lighter source, so go ahead. 
Our bee smoker, our beekeeper hat, our work gloves. We have all the tools we need to get our AP culture up and running. We're gonna be pros, okay? What do we do next? We need to find the actual beehive, okay? And how do we go about doing that? So on Hydrocraft, there are two items that you need to do in order to search for bugs. One of those items is a magnifying glass and the other is a bug net. The magnifying glass, unfortunately, is unable to be created by us as uh, players. However, the bug net is, so you just need to find the magnifying glass in order to start um, collecting bees. Once I have the two items I need, my bug net and my magnifying glass, I'm gonna go ahead and craft. If you hit craft one, it's just gonna do it one time. If you right click on the actual um, tool, you can select the option for all. And then your character is just gonna sit here collecting a bunch of uh, bugs and stuff. So, so we have like a firefly, garden spider, grasshoppers, uh, honeybees, houseflies, house spiders, that kind of thing, ladybugs. You can do things with these. Um, you can mash bugs, put bugs in a jar or whatever. Uh, I think you could eat these. Let's go ahead. Let's let's test it out. So it looks like uh, you can eat it. You do need to cook it though. So this potentially could be good to use as like a, a cooking training method because you do get a lot of bugs. Um, you can just mash them all up, throw them in the oven, and leave, and then you could probably get a bunch of uh, AFK XP that way, huh? So once you've used your magnifying glass and bug net a few times, eventually you're going to receive a wild beehive. Now, you can just process that wild beehive just as is. You're gonna get a good amount of honey and wax all in one chunk, no waiting, but it's not gonna be a sustainable source. AP culture. Another option would be to create uh, inactive beehives, which would uh, in turn eventually attract bees, and then you can continuously harvest the honey. So in order to do that, you need a few different items. The main item you need is going to be that wild beehive. You're not going to be able to find it anywhere else. You'll need screws, five planks, ten nails, a few shingles, a hammer, and then um, a saw, and okay, I'll go ahead and I'll craft one of these. Once I have my beehives completely built from my carpentry workstation, um, I can right click in the world and go to ranching. There's only one option under ranching and it's for beehives and it's for your inactive beehives. So in your inventory right now, it'll be considered to be an inactive beehive. I'm gonna click on this and then I can place it wherever I want. I'm gonna place mine. Now I have all my, my inactive beehives and stuff here. What do I need? Info. The bees seem to be resting, I should give them a moment to rest. So now that I've placed my inactive beehives to entice bees to start producing honey in my inactive beehives, I need to add pollen. In order to harvest pollen, I need to use those three books I was using earlier from our herbalist station. The, uh, the flora, fauna, and tree field guide. Once kinda... you have gathered enough raw materials, flowers, etc., um, you can right click on them with a pair of tweezers in your inventory or in the general vicinity. Um, and you can remove the pollen from these, so you can harvest pollen. So I'll just go ahead and I'll harvest all of the pollen here of these flowers. So once I have my pollen, I can right click on any of my beehives. And I can add pollen to each of the individual beehives. Um, slowly throughout the day it'll tick down and uh, produce honey in exchange for the pollen. You basically, basically just put some pollen in and take honey out. You can now see that these beehives have um, images of bees flying above them now. That is how you know that they are now active. So say that you have your beehives down waiting to collect some honey, but you desperately need that honey and wax now. You need to start making your hardened leather. Option that I mentioned before where you can just process the the honeycomb directly and not turn it into like a an inactive beehive and then add pollen and do that whole process uh, you can just kind of go ahead and harvest the wild beehive as is you just need the beehive the hat the smoker and work gloves let's go ahead and see exactly what we get if we harvest a uh, wild beehive without processing okay. it so i got 12 honeycomb from one and a honeybee so once you have your honeycomb um you just right click on it and you can process all you do need wooden buckets for this and uh, you'll fill up the buckets with honey 
and then it'll get, uh, they'll give you some beeswax. This beeswax is what's the significant kind of byproduct of um, apiculture. So this is what you're going to be needing a lot of in the future. Yeah, so that's that. That's basically it to apiculture. Um, from time to time, you're going to need to harvest the, the honey and then add more pollen. Um, just a few more things to note. Um, during the winter, the bees will become inactive and they will no longer produce any honeycomb. So you will not be able to continuously get wax and honey through all seasons. It do, they do come back though, so it, uh, the beehives are reusable throughout the year. So I would just keep that in mind. Thank you all for watching the video and I will see you next time with more tailoring.